Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Infinite Star Heart. I'm Shia, here to do your December monthly reading for all of my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node signs. Whole World Against Me by Tank, or not Tank, Tink is on, maybe significant by someone. I hope you all are doing well. Do keep in mind that these readings are general, so only apply the messages that resonate and leave a list. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> If you would like to book a personal reading, you can on my website at infinitestarheartcreations.com or you can email me at infinitestarheart at gmail.com <clears throat> for any inquiries, questions, okay, or you can book a reading that way as well. All right, Leo, we are in Sagittarius season all right um, the last month of the year of their calendar year anyway all right um, if we looked at the word etymology word for December deck um, it's broken down into the number 10 okay so December would technically be the 10th month, but, um, somewhere <laughs> down the line in history, okay, our, uh, system got mis mixed up, okay, so, I feel like the time has been speeding up, or, you know, the it's like they give us 24 hours in a day, all right, but like our days and nights run in together and it's kind of like where the weeks run in together. So, um, definitely a shift that we are experiencing, okay, um, I think the last planet that was in retrograde was Uranus and it's now direct also um, the new moon is in the sign of Sagittarius right now and uh, the full moon will be in the sign of Cancer which is Cancer's home ruling planet all right um, things to be highlighted within the home okay to be or we are in the holiday season as well so a lot of people will probably be spending time with family loved ones okay <clears throat> i'll put some crystals at the end of the reading so that way you can um use those for your full benefit of um using the moon's energy, okay? Um, I don't think I have anything else. First, I'm gonna pull an oracle card to get some messages from our angels, ancestors, God, higher source, whatever you resonate with, to see what are the important messages they have for you for this month. And then we'll um, look a little deeper, see what kind of um, energy you're in, what houses will be affect affecting you most this month. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node signs. <clears throat> Messages. 
messages from our ancestors, angels. All right. <clears throat> Your first card out is healing. All right. Healing. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm laughing because um, this song, <clears throat> Did You Wrong Pleasure P is playing, which uh, was the start of Cancer's song, uh, reading. And um, I'm playing Pandora, so it's like, it plays, um, you know, the songs randomly. So, uh, <laughs> a Cancer may be significant to you, okay? Check out Cancer's reading, Leo. All right, so yeah, so with healing coming out first, and then this song, um, Did You Wrong by Pleasure P, may be significant. So you may be a Cancer Leo cuss. Um, we'll figure out who you're dealing with, okay? You also have Get Grounded here. And Pass, Highly Sensitive, Connect With Nature, okay? So... Spirit is saying that you're needing to uh, take time and ground your energy. All right, you may need to uh, take time for yourself. You may even need to set some boundaries, okay? Take some alone time for you. Get out in nature. Okay. Um, you know, take a walk. If you can, some of you all need to um, <clears throat> go within. I don't know if you're searching for answers, okay, with regarding a situation. This can be regarding a connection, okay. nature signs wow okay so yeah um be receptive to the subtle signs and messages from nature as you go about your day nature talks to us continuously we need only to open our hearts and mind yeah so yeah <laughs> that's a sign for somebody already um cancer maybe significant something may be revealed to you during um the full moon which will be in the sign of cancer as well this month you may be seeing repeating numbers signs you may be hearing certain songs okay your spirit guys are trying to get your attention with something okay um, here at the bottom, you have manifestations. Beautiful. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life, Leo. Now write it down on paper. Manifestation step one. All right, so yeah. All right, so spirit guides are telling you basically you need to um, write down your vision, whatever your goal is uh whatever you're trying to accomplish in the future all right so this is basically like you um writing it out that way you can see it all right you can see it already being in action okay and then you start taking the steps towards making that happen okay <clears throat> one step at a time all right Wow, oh my god, you got music. <laughs> you have music underneath that and go outside. I was just saying to go outside in nature. You got nature signs, okay? Music, listen carefully for there may be a message in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories, and charm your spirit guides to your door. Wow. 
and get outside. Some of you all may be expecting or you may be receiving an unexpected visitor, okay? Wow, that's um, crazy. Also, your spirit guides is telling you to um, whatever you're wanting, you're like wishing or manifesting, praying for, make sure that you're doing it with the purest intention. All right, make sure it's uh, for the highest good of all as well, okay? <clears throat> All right. Some of you all definitely need to be in solitude during this time. That way you can receive these downloads, uploads, messages that uh, Spirit is trying to give you. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's see what kind of energy that you are emb embodying. <clears throat> For my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Alright. <clears throat> you got horse energy, which is also um, represents the element of fire. So, very fitting for you. This is someone that can be very popular, energetic. Alright. Eager to try new things. Um, you may be, you may get bored by routine, doing things that are, uh, in routine. You enjoy exploring new cultures, all right? You enjoy entertainment. You may be a good public speaker as well, all right? Full of energy, you chase your dreams, you're a go-getter, okay? So horse energy, all right? Um. That's what I'm getting for you first. Also, the number seven may be significant to some of you. I don't know, um, seventh day or in seven days. All right, let's get one more. Leo. Alright, you got Capricorn, Aquarius energy showing up here. So January may be significant, okay, in Aquarius or Capricorn. They may be a Capricorn Aquarius cuss. Okay. Alright, I'm also seeing um dragon energy for you. 